Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my sale haul for the month of January. So if you've watched my first ever clothing haul on this channel, you would know that I only shop twice a year and that's during the January sales and the June sales. So a lot of you know that I'm obsessed with Zara, so most of the brands that I have on this haul are basically similar to my last haul in June, which are basically Zara, Mango, Miss Selfridge, and Topshop. So that's basically it. So let's just get this show on the road and I'm just gonna probably just start with the shoes because I only bought one pair of shoes so it's just a pair of sandals and it is from Topshop so over here I have these sandals from Topshop um, made with genuine leather if you can see that I thought that this would be very perfect for the summer because it's white my other pair of white sandals are already broken so I thought that it's high time that I have them replaced so this is what it looks like and it's only 599 pesos which is like 15 US dollars, 12 US dollars along that price range. So I found that this is very cheap for the price especially since it's genuine leather. Next let's move on to the mango stuff. So I actually have another item from Topshop but it's similar to one of the things that I got from Zara so I feel like I'll just do the last Topshop item after my Zara haul. So from Mango, um, since I have started working, I thought that I really need some workwear because I don't have any workwear. I mean like I had a job prior to the job that I currently have but that was that one was very casual. Now I'm in more of like a central business district environment whereas before I was at a more casual workplace and everyone there usually dresses up so I felt like I really needed to dress the part. So that's why I started buying lots of pants. Um, we'll start with this paper bag from Mango. So basically I just got um, Capri pants. These are called Capri, right? Just basically work pants. So they're just until your ankle. So I love how it shows the ankle. So it's still a very casual pair of pants. I already wore this so the tag's gone. But I think this was only 995 pesos. Which is around like 20 US dollars. So this was on sale. And I also got the beige version of that. So which is this one. So it's exactly the same style but in beige. So as you can see like it's a cut off pair of pants. This is actually my first pair of beige pants. I'm usually in jeans for work and I don't really have light colored pants. So I thought it would be perfect to add something a little more light to my wardrobe. And then I have this pair of another pair of pants. So this one's high-waisted also from Mango. And yeah, yeah, Mango suit. This one's full length. So as you can see. And then you have a drawstring belt at the top. So this is high-waisted, so it would look really cute with like crop tops while at work. And again, this beige, because I felt like I needed to add light-colored clothes to my wardrobe. So yeah, this also very cute. I think they're kind of like genie pants. I honestly don't know what style these are called, but I they look like genie pants. Whenever I try them on, I look like a genie, so I will call them genie pants. Comment down below if you know what these pants are called. And this pair was... 1,295 pesos. So that's like 23, 24 US dollars. It was originally 2,995 pesos. So it was like more than 50% off. And then for the tops, I just got two tops from Mango. Um, this one, this is a super cute casual top. So I'm not sure what the material is, but it's very light. So I thought that it would be perfect for work because I do commute now. And it's just something that's very lightweight. So in case it gets hot, this is something that would be perfect for the weather. This was, I think, around 1,300 pesos. So I already used it, so it doesn't have the tag anymore. Um, 1,300 pesos, that's around like 25 US dollars. It's also kind of like a cropped shirt, which I like. Very casual. And then I have this top, so this also from Mango, and it's just a plain white polo shirt. I love my white shirts. I have like a ton of white stuff. I love wearing white to work. It's just very simple, your typical workwear polo. And this one was 1,295 pesos from the price of 2,295. So we're done with Mango, now let's go to Miss Selfridge. I just have one item from Miss Selfridge, and that is this little cute summer dress. So again, I only shop twice a year, so if I need summer clothes, this is the time that I buy them. So this is what I got. Um, it's this cute red dress 
from Miss Selfridge. Oh, it's actually, is it the dress? Oh, it's a romper. So it's this really cute Miss Selfridge romper. So it's an off the shoulder dress, so you just wear it like so. And it's very cute, it's very short, very summery, and just super girly. Key for date nights or trips to the beach. So this one was 1,499 pesos, which is around 30 US dollars. Now let's go on to the Zara stuff. And I did get quite a lot of stuff from Zara. Um, let's just grab them. So again, whenever I go shopping, I don't do everything all at once. So these were like from different trips because the stocks at Zara vary depending on the branch that you go to. So yeah, these are all from different branches. Let's start with this big paper bag. So first up is this super cute Gucci-esque polo top from Zara. It looks like silk. It looks like those Hermes scarves. And this style of print is very in nowadays. I feel like it's the trend. Everyone's been wearing them and I just feel like it's really nice. It, this is not really my style but I appreciated the design so I thought that I needed to get this polo. However, I got this on the first day of the Zara sale and it was still quite expensive. This turned out to be 1,995 pesos which is like 40 US dollars and that's a lot for something that's th that's supposed to be on sale. It was originally 3,295 pesos. So I got like a 1,800 peso discount. But yeah, um, the sad thing is when I came back a few days after the first day of the sale, the 1,995 pesos was already reduced to like 1,795 or 1,695. So I, I feel like I would have much rather spent that much instead of this amount but I already got it and what can you do like if I didn't buy it right away I would have risked the chance of losing this item so oh well lesson learned but yeah it's still a very nice top and I don't know I actually don't know where to wear this but I like it so yeah someone invite me to party so I can wear this top out next I have I'm just gonna like randomly pick out the stuff this is a really cute dress, also from Zara. So this is a shift dress with um, ribbons on the sleeves. So you can just tie a ribbon on the sleeves when you wear it on. And then like it's a polo neckline, a polo shirt neckline. You can't really see it, but yeah, I'll just show the mod shots. This one, I feel like I am buying, like the discounts on these are really small because I bought it on the first day of the sale. Usually towards the end of the sale, the discount gets higher, but since this was the first day of the sale, I only got like a 500 peso discount. So this one was originally 2495 and I got it for 1995 so still 40 US dollars for this dress. So yeah, it's very basic, so I think this is something that I'll be able to use a lot anyway and get my money's worth. Then I have this dress. I really like this dress. This is so cute. This one is just like a tweed dress. It reminds me so much of Chanel. There were actually lots of tweed Chanel inspired items in Zara for last season. So this was one of them. And it's just a shift dress again, but this time it's sleeveless with just stripes going all the way down and two pockets in the front. And then this is what the back looks like. This one was like a thousand pesos off, so from 2,295 to 1,495. So this one was just 30 US dollars. Super cute. Oh, I have so many pants in here. Like, I really hoard it on pants. Oh, here. So I have this shirt. This is just another basic shirt. Black and white. I need clothes for work, so I thought that this is something that I could also use for work. The material is stretchy, as you can see, bouncy. And this one was pretty cheap. The price of this was originally 995 pesos, which is 20 US dollars, and down to 695 pesos, which is like 15 US dollars. So, pretty good, and it's cute. Okay, so I have more pants. Um, these are from Zara. Um, yeah, I hoarded on the pants because I don't have work pants. Most of my pants are, in, are jeans and all the other bottoms that I have are like shorts and skirts. So there's another high-waisted pair. This one has three buttons as compared to the other high-waisted stuff that I have. They're usually mostly zip. 
So three buttons to zip that and then it's just garterized at the back. And again, these are like the genie pants that I got from Mango earlier. But a little more fitted, I think. So this one was originally 1695 down to 1295 So around 26 US dollars again for this pair of pants. And then I have another black pair of pants. I know like I just poured it on the pants but hopefully I'll be able to use them because I'm working now and I just, you know, I need pants every single day. Plus, this is the only time I'm shopping for the year aside from next June. So, I am really justifying this, am I not? So, this one was also more fitted. It's more of like jogger pants. And it has this yellow piping detail So on the side. So, it's very sporty. And it gives that really sporty look. This one was... Oh, same as the black pair this one was 1695 down to 1295 so also 26 US dollars for this pair okay now that's a handful um ooh, we have so much more um let me just put this back in this paper bag I don't even think I'm gonna remember that I have all of these tools next go on to this paper bag this one is much less um this is just this really cute top it's very casual very boho sheet. Just this, I don't know what you call this material. Is it just cotton? I'm not sure if this is cotton. And then you have some bow detail on the side. Just a cute date top, you know. This one's same price as the pants. Uh, 1,295 pesos, $36. And then I have this dress. Now this dress, my mom forced me to buy because she said it looked so good on me. I didn't see this on the wrap, but she did and she liked it. So she actually had this dress on. Um, she brought it to the fitting room and it didn't fit her. So she was like, she want to try this dress. So I tried it on and it looked really good on me. It's not something that I would really wear on a daily basis. It's not really my style. But her, my mom's reaction when she saw me in that dress was like priceless. She really liked it and she was like, you should buy it. So I was just like, enabled like my mom is an enabler so i ended up getting this dress so it's just a turtleneck tight fit checkered dress with like this belt that goes around it so this dress is all the way down to your knees and it's just like really body hugging so it really shows your curves this one was originally 2295 pesos down to 1295 pesos so this was also 26 US dollars. So I, I feel like a lot of the stuff I bought came out to 1295. But yeah. Weird though because like this whole thing is equipped is the same price as this little top. So yeah, um weird prices at Zara. I actually don't know when I'm gonna wear this. I could wear it for work, but right now I don't really have an occasion for it yet. But I'm sure we'll find something. The year is pretty long. And Finally, this dress. This one I really liked. I just find heart-shaped necklines really cute on my body. So when I saw this, I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to get this. This one is just a denim bodycon dress. So perfect for summer. And I think it'll really look cute on dates. It's just like it has white buttons and then really good denim quality. And this one was from 2495 down to 1995 So this one turned out to be 40 US dollars. And then finally, I have this last item from Sarah and it's just a beige coat. So this is what it looks like. And here's the thing. I mentioned that I'm really trying to expand my wardrobe in terms of workwear. And I thought that this is something that would go perfectly with it. I started commuting for work and when I ride the bus, it's really, really cold in that bus. And especially in the morning, I don't know, like, I get really cool. And also in the office, it's very cold in the office. And I've been wearing like hoodie jackets to commute and I don't look very good in those. Like, I'll give you an example. This one is one of the jackets I wear. It's, it's an H&M sports jacket. And I look really weird, I mean, going to work in this. So I felt like I really needed blazers to wear to work while commuting because I didn't look very presentable. Like, I get really cold, so I just wear this in the morning. And I'm in the bus looking like a hobo because, like, 
you know, this is what I look like in the morning. Like, I do not look like a professional if I look like this in the bus and commuting to work. The people in the bus that I ride are like suits, polo shirts, long sleeve polo shirts, tucked in their pants or dresses. And I was just like, I look like that, like with a hoodie. That's what I look like going to work. So I was just like, I cannot look like that going to work. But since I get very cold, I thought that I really needed a lightweight coat. So even if it's a coat, like it gives that effect of being formal. But it still gives me the warmth that I need. So this is just like a short blazer type coat. So this one was from 3995 So that's like from 80 US dollars down to 2495 Down to like 50 US dollars. So that's a pretty good deal I feel like because I'm gonna wear this a lot. And since we're already talking about coats, I also got another coat from Topshop. This is the coat that I got from Topshop and it's very long and I was actually contemplating if I'd look too weird because I'd be looking like it's winter in the morning while I'm walking but this is what it looks like. Um, what I like about this is even if it's a long coat, it's lightweight. It's not made of wool. I don't think so. It's just very light fabric so I feel like it's just enough to give me warmth but not too warm where when the sun hits, I'm gonna be sweating. So it's not that warm. It's basically like a really light jacket, except it's long and it gives the effect of a coat. So I thought that this would look really cute like when I'm walking around the central business district and yeah, I'll still look formal and I'll be warm at the same time. So it's not that hot actually, which is why I like this so much because a lot of the coats that I looked at were mostly winter coats, which are very heavy, um, made of heavy material, but this one's just very lightweight. And yeah, almost just like a long jacket. This one was 50% off. Originally from 3995 pesos, that's 80 US dollars, down to 1999, which is 40 US dollars. So pretty cheap, and I feel like that's something that I'll be able to use for a really long time. So yeah, that's all that I have in my January sale haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And follow me on Instagram at TrishDLF. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!